in my earlier video of installing R Studio Server on operating system, I had told that R Studio Server is only available for Linux platform and it is not available for any other platforms like Windows or Mac OS. But then I had found this particular article as shown on the screen, which shows that how to use R Studio Server on Windows. So today we are going to discuss particular article and we are going to install R Studio Server on Windows. So here they have mentioned as well that R Studio Server has primarily been designed to work with Linux distribution. Windows users require a virtualization technology called Windows Subsystems for Linux that stands for WSL to run a Linux kernel inside their system. So first of all uh, what we need to do is uh, we need to complete the prerequisite steps and then we will move ahead so over here uh, they need a uh, windows 10 version 2004 build 19041 or higher and to check it they have provided command as well so what i will do is i will press windows key plus r and then i will use win ver command and over here it's windows 10 uh, Microsoft Windows version 21H2. So uh, actually, it fulfills the prerequisite. So we can move ahead. Okay, and yeah, uh, in case uh, your system is lower than the suggested one, please update the latest Windows version. Now, for the WSL, there are different steps that we are going to perform today. So open Windows PowerShell with admin privileges. So I will place Windows key and search for Windows PowerShell. Uh, I will right click, run as administrator. Yes, now PowerShell is ready to execute the commands. So we will execute this particular command. So I will copy the command and paste it over here. So it will enable the feature. This feature is Windows subsystem on Linux, that is WSL. Okay, uh, now the command has been completed successfully. So I will execute the next command. So it will enable the virtual machine platform. This operation has been completed successfully. So we will move towards the next step. Okay, so the next step is restart your system. So I'm going to restart the system and then we'll connect later. After restarting the system, the next step is to again open Windows PowerShell with admin privileges. So I will do that. Okay, I will right click on it, run as administrator. Okay, now the system is ready. So I will execute this command. WSL set default version 2. Okay, so the operation has been completed successfully. Over here uh, in this article, they have mentioned that in case uh, if you are getting any error, like WSL2 requires an update to its kernel component. For information, please visit the URL. Then, in that case, you need to download and install this particular. WSL to Linux kernel, but as I haven't got any such error, so I will move towards the next step. Okay, so the next step is after the installation of WSL2 feature, we need to download and install a Linux distribution from Microsoft Store. So we will go to this Microsoft Store and download and install the Linux distro. Over here uh, on this Microsoft tool, I will search for Ubuntu. Okay, and the version is 20.04 LTS. I will click on this. And then I will click over here on this get button. Now I will click on this install button. Nothing happens in that case. Just click on these three dots and click on install on my devices. Then there will be a prompt on this prompt. Click on your uh, machine name and then click on install now. Then click on OK button. Now, over here, you can see the progress bar of downloading and installing. Now it is installing Ubuntu on WSL system. Now you can see the pop up over here that Ubuntu has been installed. So I will click on this launch button. Okay, and over here uh, we have got this error that WSL2 require an update to its kernel component. For information, please visit this URL and press any key to continue. So now what I need to do is 
first of all uh, i need to revisit the url that has been shown in the previous step so i need to use this url to download and install latest kernel so i will click on this link and download that particular wsl to linux kernel okay and then i will click on this open file let's move ahead with installation okay done the installation has been completed so again i will go to this windows programs list and click on this ubuntu lts version now it is installing okay so you can see that now again we have got the error now over here it is requesting for the new username and i will provide my username that i want to put password that i want to get okay so you can see that installation has been successful now you can see the message that you can now close the wsl instance by typing the following command exit so uh, like i will wait for a while till i am able to write the message over here okay so you can see that now i am able to get this Linux shell or linux terminal over here i will type exit and yeah close now the next thing that i need to do is uh, RStudio server setup. What I will do is I will uh, go with this Ubuntu and over here I will execute these commands like get update password and it for a while. Now we will apply this upgrade command copy paste. Okay, it will take around half an hour to install the upgrade with update and now we can move towards the next step. So the next step is to install r with r studio so we are going to execute this command again we will wait once r has been installed with the required dependency and dev tools we can move forward with the next step that is to download r studio server from the url Okay, so I will copy the link and paste it over here. It will download the RStudio server. Next is to run this command which will install RStudio server on this Ubuntu. Do you want to install the software package? Yes. Okay, so RStudio server installation has been completed and it's asking to allow RStudio server on the internet. So I'm going to provide this access and also uh, over here we have got this error as well like couldn't find an alternative telnet uh, implementation to spawn and the same thing they have mentioned over here that if you are going to receive such kind of message you don't need to worry about it it's no issue and we can ignore it so the next step is we can start the r studio server so over here i will start the r studio server okay and let's see if we are able to access it or not and yes you can see that r studio station on windows with the help of wsl mechanism so over here i will provide my username that we have created while creating this ubuntu on wsl so i will provide those username and password and over here you can see that we are able to access the r studio server interface now Another thing over here is the directory will be different and it won't show the windows directory by default. The reason over is the location of the WSL folder. If you want to know that where the windows operating system then just go to this any folder, any folder anywhere and in this uh, bar write double slash WSL dollar enter and it will show whatever the wsl on your windows operating system so i will click on this okay so over here i have this home directory within this home i have this then uh, directory and folder where i can access files and folders this is the location will be accessed by r studio as a default that's it for the day thank you everyone for watching this video